everything is wet. <laughs> There's like a, a dew or something that came down. Easy, easy. <laughs> oh, I was so afraid I was gonna lose them on you. Oh, it's a nice size. Right there. Oh, it's wild too. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, you got them hooked nice. That's a good hook. Yeah, you got them. <laughs> Right on, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Get out, get out there. I'll deal with this stuff. Okay, it's all yours. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, dude. <laughs> oh, this is exciting, man. That is a fun fish, man. Yeah. Nice fish, too. Yeah. Keep it on, you got it.
Oh yeah. Wow, buddy. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah, Your thanks, man. Oh, wow. Nice. That is awesome. Getting on a little spoon. Yeah. See? All right. Looks like a female too, actually. Yeah? I think it is. Oh, it's hard to tell sometimes, but... Yeah, it's great. <laughs> right on, man. <laughs> Like a lot of parasites or something on it. Oh, sea lice. Sea lice? Yeah. Pretty normal? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. It, you know, it's probably from the farm fish. Yeah. They, like, it's natural to their habitat, but there's a, abundance more of them because. Uh, because of the farm fishing? You can just, I just like scrape them off with a knife. Yeah. If they get on your finger, they start sucking on you. Oh, really? Yeah, they're like a leech almost. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And then, and then it's just salted caviar, basically. Oh, really? So then you just put it in the jar in the fridge, and then you put it on anything you want. Oh, wow. Yeah, put it on a cracker or a lid. Or... Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah baby. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm so freaking happy I caught that fish. Holy cow, guys. All right, let's go catch some more. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. excited. <laughs> and he's camoed up really good. There he goes.
So I'm going to take a little break from fishing. Um, it's died down a little bit. Wind's picked up and I'm just going to go relax for a little bit. Probably come back down here in an hour or so. Maybe try to get a nap in. I had a shorter nap than I thought. <laughs> this guy just walked through my campsite. He was saying hey bear or something like that. I guess his dog or something, but anyway, he just kind of woke me up because he walked right through here. I, uh... Oh, look at that. Ooh, cold, misty mist. It's coming in over there too. Maybe I'm gonna stay in bed for a little while longer. <coughs> I'm just leaving my van door open right now. Cause it's awesome. It's really nice to do that. Just not like when people walk through my camp, that's all. It's all stiff because it's in rigor mortis and you know it died just a little while ago so it gets all super tense like that for a while but uh, I'm probably straightening it out there we go I straighten it out <clears throat> Here's a look at, see the sea lice? So they do this weird thing to the scales where I guess they get underneath the scales and they lift it up. And there's one right there. It's kind of on the surface. And there's another one right there on the tail. These are the fillets that I got. I got the cheek meat out. These are smaller cheeks. 
smaller fish. Um, that was a bit of meat that I failed to get off when I was doing my fillets. Um, they're a bit rough, but you know, I'm not an expert at these kind of things, so that's it. So because because it's got all these lice on it, I'm gonna skin this off. Uh, I don't think. they're really staying in there so I'm getting the scales off but the lice are staying in there so I'm gonna do my best to skin this out So I'm giving this fish a little extra heat because uh, coho are known to have a lot of parasites in them. Um, they've got uh, those sea lice that you saw and then they've got uh, worms and stuff like that in them too apparently. So a lot of salmon does actually. Salmon's pretty, uh, quite a parasitic fish when you think of it. Salmon, halibut, a lot of the fish that we eat. But um, the reason it's safe for us to eat when we buy it in a grocery store is because they freeze it. And if you freeze the fish for like 10 days or week to 10 days, it kills everything off. So even if you screw up the cooking, it, it's gonna be fine. And if you're gonna have sushi, it's gonna be fine. Uh, so it gotta be like frozen solid for a week to 10 days to make that okay. Um, this is fresh caught, it's right here, so I'm just making sure I'm cooking it a little bit more than maybe what I would normally cook it, so. Okay, there we are. Hiya. Yeah. Can hear those guys out in their boat they're like how are you gonna get a fire started in this yeah, like, with the gasoline <laughs> it's funny when you're in a boat you're talking you're kind of you have to raise your voice and uh everybody can hear it from the shore so it doesn't matter what you're talking about they're gonna hear it bon appetit that, that's the salmon Holy cow, man. <laughs> That's really, really good fish. Oh, man. Guys, it might not have looked super appetizing when I was cutting it up and doing all that stuff and talking about sea lice and other parasites and stuff like that to be concerned about, but this fish is really good. Huh. <sighs> That's pretty good. Even cooked the way it is. It's, it's like, it's not quite crispy, but it's, it's maybe a little dry, but it's, that's fine. Wow. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like salmon, right? but it's so much better than store-bought. Oh my God. It's like it, it just melts in your mouth. It's like it's like eating butter salmon or something like that. It's like, 
Yeah. Mm. So good. Mm. <clears throat> Might as well have the fire in there, right? So. That's a really good fish. Mm. Oh man, you know guys, I got so much I could say about this. Here's a cheek. Mm. Yeah, the cheek is totally different. It's like, it's even a different color. It's less salmony tasting. It's got a little bit of salmony taste, but it's not as salmony tasting as the actual meat part of it is. Um, and the texture is almost a little bit like crab meat, whereas the rest of the fish is more like fish fish. <clears throat> anyway, guys, I think I'm going to wrap this up. I could go on, but I think I'm going to just carry on with another day of this a little bit tomorrow um and i might just kind of keep that one mostly to myself i just don't want to i just noticed today i was like trying to film and trying to fish and i was just i was screwing up on my filming and i wasn't getting the shots that i wanted necessarily so if it came together in the edit you know that's a good job on me on the edit but um the filming part of it i was kind of like oh i should have yeah that wasn't quite in frame and that wasn't quite in frame and i should have got that angle instead of that angle but i'm learning and when you're busy like when i'm van building and i'm making a video i kind of have it sort of down pat i know where to put the camera and that kind of thing but fishing it's different and there's so many there's so much time goes by there's no there's no catching of any fish it's just just cast, retrieve, cast, retrieve. Hours and hours go by where there's, that's all that's happening. You know, I don't care how good the music is. It's like, you can't, you can't watch that for too long, you know? Anyway, I don't know. I got another, another day down here. Maybe more, maybe more. Because I figure if I could do a, a live stream down at the other location or if I could upload a video then maybe I could stay down here for a bit a bit longer having said that you probably know whether I had a live stream down here or not at this point so anyway guys that's uh that's that's coho fishing it's brand new to me I'm so glad I finally caught one I'm eating it right now. So good. So good. Mm. All right, guys. See you later. It's just, I'll see you later.